I'll never catch him while I'm this small. Why, curious butterflies. You mean bread and butterflies? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, hmm? Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog. I hope everybody is doing very well. I've been slacking on my videos and I want to apologize because of my mental health. I needed to just be in my own world. You know what I mean? So, I'm slowly making my comeback, but I'm really excited for today's video, sharing a little bit of behind the scenes with you guys about how I am creating my very own oracle card deck, and I'm super excited. I'm gonna have a little sort of poll situation so you guys can help vote on what the cover of the card deck is gonna be. I have a couple different like drafts drawn up for it. But before we do that, I thought it would be fun to share with you one of my favorite like self-care routines that I I've been doing like I said my mental health is just kind of like a hot mess right now I mean it's getting better so I just took a bath um I spent so much time in the bath I've been spending a lot of time in the bath just on reddit <laughs> let me know what some of your favorite subreddits are down below if you use it um but one of my favorite things to use after my bath is this massage cream it is the best thing in the world this one is clary sage and lavender it is like one of my favorite things ever in the world to use on my body so that is that and then i've been using two things for my face lately this one is a micro needle face roller my mom just gifted this to me it has like little needles on it and it is like so nice you just kind of like do this i don't even know how to describe this feeling my mom's probably watching this. Thanks, mom. Feels great. <laughs> so once I finish with that, I take like my face serum, which I'm actually just gonna do a moisturizer today. This is my favorite moisturizer ever that my mom also got me. Can you tell my mom is like a makeup artist? She knows her shit. She knows her skincare. And then I take this rose quartz roller and use this all over my face and this feels so good you guys i'm kind of sad that i didn't remember to put it in the fridge or in the freezer before i did this whole thing i have been struggling with my self talk does that make any sense the things that my brain tells me about myself. I haven't been in the most confident mindset lately, and so I figured having some rose quartz, they have a couple different stones of this. I figured rose quartz would be good because I'm working on my self-love like hardcore right now. Um, so yeah, I, I know this isn't like a freaking beauty channel, but I thought it was good to share with you guys some of my favorite products that I like to use to help me kind of love on myself a little bit, help me with my self-care, my self-love, of because it is something that I am struggling with right now. I hope that maybe this inspires you to go out and get a couple things that will help you with your self-care routine too. It doesn't have to be these things at all. If I can link them down below, I will. This is not sponsored or anything by any means, but um, I hope it inspires you to kind of think about what things you can do for yourself or get for yourself that will help with your self-love, your self-care routine, because it is super important. Now that I've rambled for like 20 million years, <laughs> I'm gonna get ready and then let's dive into all about the oracle deck i'm so excited <laughs> Let's talk about some oracle cards. I thought this would be really fun to share with you guys. The last time I made a physical product, I didn't really do any videos about it. I filmed an entire like process sort of behind the scenes video that eventually I will share with you guys and give my two cents now after the fact because <laughs> I definitely made a lot of mistakes and um, yeah with anything it was a learning process I thought this would be fun to share so if you guys are familiar with card decks you know that when you pull a card there's usually a word or a short phrase on the very bottom of it sometimes like a little explanation and then you can go into the booklet for a more in-depth sort of interpretation so I have a list of words and short phrases that I'm gonna be using for my deck this is 
kind of what I have right now for the card deck. I have six cards and one of them is a possible cover. This is kind of one of the cover drafts that I've created and I have another one that I'll share with you guys in a minute. But um, I really, really like this card. So the first part that I laid down was a rose quartz sort of background and um, rose quartz is like the perfect color that I'm going for with this card deck very light and airy then I decided to bring in a hand because the card deck is going to be called inner light so I wanted it to kind of represent your reaching for your light um, or holding on to your light and then I threw in a couple different light orbs right there to make it really shine I combined this sort of concept with my other background that I had made previously when I started this project a really long time ago um, Let me see if I still have it But this is the original um, back cover or whatever you want to call it of the deck that I created like months and months and months ago and I like it but it's a little bit busy for my taste at the moment which is why I really like to create things and then sort of wait quite a while to come back to it later and see if it still resonates with me so what I decided to do was copy some of the concepts that I put in here and overlay them in the new cover that I came up with so I have those super fun like triangular sort of geometric designs on the top and bottom I added in the sacred geometry in the middle and then I left the um, the double moons in there I really really like the way that that looks and I added a overlay sort of photo so now it kind of looks a little bit more faded it adds a little extra color to it but you can still see the um, texture of the rose quartz in the background I might even like bring it down a little bit more because I do like this texture in the background a lot so this is what I have right now and I do really want to hear your feedback I want to hear your opinions on the two covers that I've created so far this is the draft cover of my Oracle deck and I hope that you guys like it I'm really happy with it let's do the journey card because I really really like it I don't think I'm gonna stick with this name. I think I'm gonna change it, um, but for now, it gives you an idea of what I'm going for. So, um, and these are all super rough drafts. So, <laughs> like with this one in particular, the line that kind of trails along the side of this pathway is super, super harsh. Um, a little bit too harsh. I also have this moon phase up at the top here, which kind of symbolizes the journey of the cycles and of the moon that happens every single month, and particularly for women, the journey that we go on um, with the moon and with our moon cycle. And then the last one that I'll share with you guys for now, this is one of the favorite cards that I've made so far. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you've definitely seen this already. And I didn't initially plan on using this in the deck. I think it's going to change a little bit before it is like you know good to go and finalize but I really like the concept of this photo so this is going to be the metamorphosis card which is um, the change transformation card when I think metamorphosis you think like a caterpillar that goes into its cocoon and then emerges a beautiful butterfly so I have a butterfly over my face but particularly I have the butterfly sitting right on my third eye so um, I thought that that was really powerful the metamorphosis of opening your third eye and the change the transformation that occurs when you really start to tap into your intuition and um, use and sense and feel the connection that you have with the divine it feels like coming out of a cocoon and spreading your wings and having so much power that you didn't think that you had before um, so I really really like the symbolism of this that is a little sneak peek of what I have so far that's just a couple cards that I have started working on but I'm really excited to share this project with you guys it has been um, a work in 
progress for a really long time. But I also wanted to share a little bit of my process with you guys and brainstorm a little bit so we can hopefully put a card together um, on the vlog right here. So um, I'm gonna run through my little list and once I have some ideas, I will pop back in and share the process with you guys. Well, a lot of time has passed. I am finished with my first draft of this card and it's definitely not perfect. It's definitely not exactly how I want it. There's a lot of like little things that I want to change about it, but for now I'm really, really happy with it. And I think this is going to be the Be Still card. Um, otherwise or other known as the chill tf out card <laughs> water is a huge part of my healing process it is i mean i'm a cancer so i'm a water sign and um so i thought for the be still card which is like a chill relax like be still you know it just reminded me of like being in a place where you feel the most comforted the most safe and secure and for me that really is in the water so i decided to um be in a shell <laughs> so yeah here is that and then i tried using let me see if i can and don't yell at me for not naming my layers i never do that and it's a terrible habit I might like this one too though. So yeah, this is the other pose that I have. It's from an aerial picture so you can still kind of see um, the Lyra in my arms, but I like my legs a lot better in that one than I do in this one. So that is it for this little vlog, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you, um, get inspired to create something that means a lot to you. I'm so happy with it and I'm so proud of it. Um, and I'm excited to share this with you guys. So if you are interested in possibly getting a deck for yourself when I do finish it, I'm gonna leave the link down below so you can just put your email in for the wait list and I will email everybody on the wait list as soon as it is available for pre-order. Everybody on that list will have first dibs. So be sure to leave your email in the link down below. If you just have any ideas at all that you would like to see me incorporate in this deck, I would love to hear from you so you can either so comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram as always at Tayluna and um, I'm excited to hear your ideas that is everything you guys I love you to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video